Uh, good afternoon everybody, it's your old pal Uwe Millet here. Hope you're going well. And um, hope you're keeping up appearances with your masks and all and such. Anyway, uh, today I've got to talk to you a bit about dental problems in lockdown. Now, a lot of us in our countries, we've been in lockdown and we haven't been able to see dentists. And without dentists, horrible things can happen to our teeth. We could break them, they could dissolve, that they could like fall out, you could lose a tooth, and without a dentist, well, you're stuck in agony and all. So, 364 days ago, I was in Bashari in Lebanon, visiting the tomb of Khalid Gibran to pay my respects to my late grandma and my late uncle. Now, what I was doing at the hotel buffet breakfast, I was stuffing my Lebanese bread with olives without even checking if they had seeds. I took a bite and I broke a molar, like the side piece of a molar just went inwards. And by the time I was back in Beirut, I was pulling out that piece. So I went back to England a few days later, as scheduled, and uh, the dentist basically just put some fillings in and stuff, and they said, well, hopefully this should be okay, otherwise I'll have to extract it later on. Months on the track, COVID happens and all, and we go into like lockdown. And this tooth that broke in Lebanon, a hole starts, it starts forming at the, uh, the same tooth that broke, and the, the, the hole is in the shape of like a, a U. So, I call my dentist and they basically say, so we're closed and stuff, uh, so how about you stick some temporary filling? So I spend the next few months just buying a small packet of temporary filling you get at the chemist, and just stuffing the hole with it. And then one day, the all of that dental repairs done last year, all fell out. So I was just left with like half a tooth left. Uh, I call up this de dentist I normally go to. I'm like, can you like take out stuff? And like, saying, no, sorry, we, we can't. I'm like, it's most unless you're in pain. I call another dentist. They're going to charge you a lot of money because they're not doing NHS things. And I got to warn you that in this country of the United Kingdom, if you don't go by NHS dentist, you're going to pay a lot of money, even for extractions. And even in this time, some dentists are even quoting. 500 pounds just for an extraction, just for the whole PP and stuff. So I call 111 last Sunday, and uh, basically I, I call them up saying, Look, I've had a lot of pain and stuff, I need to have this tooth removed. But like, post, post. So they say, Oh, can you come down to this dentist in Shepherd's Bush? Because that's the nearest one. I uh, couldn't really make it on time, but, but like I made it at 10. They said, Oh, sorry, I can't see you. Here's an appointment for tomorrow, 7 p.m. I had to cancel my, my work for like my trial because I was supposed to do a burst job like on Monday. So I just stay at home. I just uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. I just uh, then I go to the dentist itself and I get it yanked out. And so basically, that's the second tooth extraction I've had in like nine years. And now it's been almost a, a week since this happened. I feel much better without that stupid broken tooth anymore. It does still feel a bit sore up here and all, but I'm, I'm guessing that's just the socket healing. That is just so I do not get a dry socket. So we just make sure that in these tough tough times, you do take good care of your teeth and stuff, and stay the hell away from fizzy drinks and all. If you, and even if you do drink Pepsi Max and stuff, I mean, that crap is not good for you. I, I tell you that, that it's got like phenylalanine. Any of the drinks that have fennel and stuff, they're gonna make you sick, like, later in life. So, wait, we just... I always remember to brush your teeth. I've got a cup of coffee, so I, I, I know what I'm doing afterwards. It's just as I'm doing it. Anyway, over the middle, over and out.